tradition very eloquently blended the two styles of the East and the West, and is really among the first of its generation to explore and then master this approach to modernism. By the 1980s, Chinese-French artist Zhe Dechen was already a widely recognized master in the international art scene. His work was at the forefront of the integration of traditional Chinese painting styles with Western abstraction in the 20th century. Fond de Vue was painted in 1989, which is really at the pinnacle of Chu's career and the peak of his creative powers. Measuring 3.6 meters long and 2 meters high, this is the largest diptych that he ever created in and before the 1980s. Once completed, it was sent to the artist's large-scale touring exhibitions in 15 locations across Taiwan. Bon de Vue was illustrated on the cover of the catalogue and is really the anchor piece of that exhibition. In the following years, the work was also shown at the artist's significant exhibitions in Tokyo, Taipei and Paris. This painting directly reflects the artist's boldness of vision as well as his mastery of exceptionally large canvases. He created this abstract wall that manifests the breadth and profoundness of his brushwork and color palette. In 1983, Zhu Dechen returned to China after three decades of living in France. He had the opportunity to travel widely in China and immerse himself in the majestic scenery of Yellow Mountain. This otherworldly experience directly inspired his abstract compositions from the 1980s, including his only five-panel painting, The Solomon Confederate. We can certainly see how the two works echo with each other, not only in terms of their enormous scale, but also their expansive vision and the spectacular brushwork that suits of confidence and virtuosity. In Von de Vue, in particular, Chu adopted the shimmering and elegant peacock blue tones through which he introduced the striking interplay between light and shadow. It reflects the impact of Kyo's girl techniques in classical oil paintings and at the same time, the Taoist philosophy of yin and yang. In 1985, Chu traveled to Geneva. The scene inspired the creation of the Snow Scene series from 1985 to 1989. One of the greatest examples would be Arc Monet Yves Nye. Bon de Vue belongs to the same period and are equal in terms of their level of excellence. This season, we are really honored to present Von de Boo. It is in many ways a close parallel with the artist's other triptych, Dynamisme Faire from 1982, which is currently in the collection of National Art Museum of China in Beijing. This is undoubtedly a museum-grade masterpiece and one of the most splendid of all multi-panel paintings by the artists.